Hello friends, welcome back. And today we are going to discussing about how to create our first test case using our C sharp Selenium. Okay. And here we need to open first. And even you can see that my last video session, you are able to see my uh, how to install for our C sharp and Selenium and everything, right? And now in this session, I'm going to show you how we can able to write our first test using our same, okay? The simple way I'm going to show you, okay? And later point we can able to see for in depth of that, okay? Now in the last video session time, we are able to create our project and all, right? And even we installed our uh, Selenium as well. Like you're going to tools and going to Nugget Package Manager and there is a Manager Nugget Package. And here we downloaded from the Selenium. We search with the Selenium and then we are find it in the top first one and we click and we choose here and we click down install. The latest version of 4.2.30, sorry, 23.0 is there, okay? Once it is done, then you can come back here and you can uh, do whatever you want. And before that, we need to do it here. Uh, web driver we need to launch. How to do that web driver? You need to say uh, when you go for Selenium with the Java and we are creating for web driver, driver equal to a new Chrome driver like this we are going to create right but similar format we are going to create our c sharp also but we need to use for by using for web driver we are going to use for i web driver both are same but the naming conventions and everything same but microsoft use for i web driver okay i web driver automatically intel j will support you and it will give some intelligence and in case if you are not seeing Intel J, just close and reopen your VS code and definitely again it will come back. Okay. Once you've done that iWeb driver, provide the web driver name and equal to a new. Here we need to search as a Chrome. The Chrome is basically C is a capital letter. Chrome web driver. You can able to see in the top. Okay. Or as you can see in the down. Both the things are same, okay? Use for that and you can use, and the end you have to use for semicolon. If you have not closed the semicolon with semicolon, then you will get for some error, okay? Then enter. Then we need to launch our URL. Then how to launch our URL, okay? And here we need to use for driver object, which we have created in the line here. And then we need to use for dot. Okay, and then dot we need to use for navigate. Okay, and we need to browse close dot we have go to URL and we need to specify here. Okay, before that you can see what are the packages we are downloading that everything it is coming from here at the top. The packages are web driver purpose, the selenium here and chrome driver purpose here. Okay, like this we can able to do it. Automatically, it will come in case if you are seeing something error and you can put that break or cursor there and control and space automatically Intel J will support you. Some of the options it will provide. Choose the proper one. Okay. And here we required for URL and I'm going to open for Chrome and Google because this is the famous to touch for every time. Coming back here in the double quotation, I'm going to specify my URL. See? Now I'm able to provide my URL. Can I able to uh, uh, enter something in a URL? Sorry. Can I open this particular URL into a browser or not? We need to see the launching browser. There are many ways we can able to launch it. And here right click and you can search, uh, not search, indirectly you can use for run test. Okay, this is the one way and second way there is a test in the top right and there is a test explorer and down to second one okay click on that 
and it will open for minimize it folder like this. Just I maximize it because of I want to see that all the things. Okay. Just expand this one and expand this one and expand. You can see here that is your test case. Okay. And here you can use for running. Once you click the run, automatically it will start for running cases. Okay. Now it is trying to launch it. Now you can see. My Chrome driver is launched without any issue, right? My test case got passed. Still, we are not used for closing the process and all, and that's why it is there, okay? And I'm closing this again. Now here, if you say again, again, if you want to, I don't want to go for all the things, I just, I want to run this parent, particular one. Just use for right click in this specific one, any place, and you can see run test. You can hit same place, it will come and hit it again. Okay. You can see for the difference how it is there and all. You can going forward again, you can see that. But it will go for again the test explorer itself. Okay. Now I want to enter something into my text box and I want to make enter. Then how we can able to do? You can right click here, inspecting element, and it will open and show you that entire text area. Okay, and coming back to here, and you can see what is the title? It is presented. The Arial is there, and the ID also there. Okay, ID also there. You can copy the ID. Come back here, and use for driver dot a find element find element not for find elements there are two things are there one is find element one is find element and another one is find elements okay find element it will return for single element single element find element it will return for list of array elements list of array elements okay when we can use list of array elements we can see in the later video sessions now we are going to use for find element okay find element and then use for two braces and here we need to use for by b by by okay and that boy dot you can see there is a id okay we have different locators i'll show you the different locators in uh, upcoming videos okay send is and it is a send keys. Okay. After send keys, we need to use your information. I'm going to use for selenium. And end of that, semicolon. Okay. In case if something text is already presented, then how to do that? Again, we need to copy this path and keep the enter and make it here and dot clear. If something text is already exist, we are need to close. And you can see there is a code duplication is presented. Code duplication. What is a code duplication is basically here the paths are duplicate. In our automation side, we should not use like this duplicate codes and all. Then how we can able to do it? Remove this clear. Okay. And make the semicolon here. Come back here. And there is a I web element. I web element. Take this I web element and make it as an element. Okay, and set it. And now this use this web element element dot clear element dot clear. Now this particular function, what it will do? It will clear that any text is presented or not. And here also we can copy this one and you can remove this entire things. You can use send case as well. First one says that clearing text text in text box. Okay. And uh, second one enter entering value into text box. Okay. And now I want to after enter something like selenium. I want to do for enter. Then how to do that enter? 
just use for the same thing which you have dot send case and you can use it here there is a uh, key called uh, keys there is a keys okay keys this is basically a uh, selenium matters dot a return or enter you can see here there are functions it is spent up. enter you can use for enter or return anything is okay okay both are same thing okay again i'm going to right click and running the test case now selenium is enter you can see the verification and all we can see in the later video session and we can see for the later video session one by one each topic okay thank you for watching and please do subscribe and share to your friends and colleagues thank you